Hey now. All right. How is everybody? Hello. Let me know that you guys can hear me. Uh, new new studio room tonight. New setup tonight. So uh, this is kind of like a test I want to do to do in here. And um, I'm gonna try to start doing these without microphones. So uh, I got one of our headphones, especially if it's a solo show, because I don't necessarily need it for a solo show. Um, so let me know if you can hear me. Let me make sure my settings are right. Check, check, check. I should be, I should be, I should be good. Do I sound good? Do I look good? Everything looks good. Uh, so welcome, guys. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna look at the chat real quick and say hello to everybody. See who we got in here. We're gonna, we're gonna talk and have a good time. Uh, so guys, what you're seeing right now is Studio B. All right. So Studio B is basically um, my other room. Uh, I wanted to make a room that and, and you're going to get a tour of this place, guys. Don't worry. I'm, I'm doing finishing touches. For instance, I've got a uh, poster on the ground behind me that uh, <laughs> I got to get a frame tomorrow and get it get it up in here. So long story short, this room and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say hello to everybody in the chat in just a second. I'm going to call everybody's name out. And this is your show. We're going to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Horror, movies, whatever. Okay, so so basically what this room is, guys, is, like I said, it's Studio B, and it's basically a room where I want to give you guys, when I do videos, something else to look at. I don't want you guys to get bored of the same room. I didn't want to get bored of the same room. I love my horror room. It's as close to perfect as I think I can ever make my horror room look. So what I wanted to do was uh, make another room that reflected my other interests in terms of movies and things like that, because obviously we all we all watch a ton of kind of movies and i'm a big uh 80s fan and uh you know all kinds of stuff okay so that's what this and it's a very chill room i wanted a nice couch in here for me to be able to come in here and relax watch tv i've got old video games in here i've got old thousands of nintendo games thousands of them guys so we're going to go through all of that stuff very soon as soon as the room's done uh so that's what this is and i wanted it to be a little bit more spacious so i'm hoping this room actually looks pretty pleasing. I painted the walls a nice color. So, uh, it was, it was golf course green in here guys. And when I say it would make you vomit after, uh, like being in there for being in here for five minutes, you would vomit. Uh, my buddy, Justin was like, dude, it looks good with the green. I said, no, no, no. If you were in here for more than five minutes, you would vomit. That green was killing this deadly. So the lighting in here is not great yet. I'm still getting a nice ring light set up in here. So it's not great, but the walls are kind of a gray, but for some reason right now, the walls look a little bit blue or something on the wall, but they're, they're, a, they're a soft kind of gray. Okay. So anyway, let me say hello to everybody in here. Let me scroll up to the top and then we're answering. We'll hang out for an hour, guys. I'm going to answer your questions, whatever you guys want to talk about. We got Jackie 2023. We got Dino. We got PP Dangler. We got Johnny Darko, Adrian James, uh, Kevin Kruger, Connor. How are you? Quentin. Jigsaw Rules, Saturn Video, what's up, Saturn? Tiana, how are you? Jonathan, how are you? Chris, how are you? Ian, how are you? Uh, who else we got in here? Scratch, how are you? Witch Hunter, how are you? Johnny Darko, how are you? Jesse, how are you? Sam, how are you? Uh, who else we got in here? Uh, I think Kaylin's in here, my, 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 local, my local horror fan buddy, Kaylin. Guys, you have 101 people in here. If you wouldn't mind dropping a like, uh, let me just get through this. Davey, how are you, Davey? Good to see you. Corey, how are you? Deadhead777, how are you? Uh, it's good to see everybody. Ben, what's up, Ben? How are you? You going to be at Texas Frightmare this year, Ben? I'll be there, baby. Josh, how are you? Nuclear Doomsday, X-Bit Sam, how are you? Matthew, how are you? Uh, Carda, Carda Durden, Durdentian, love the Caddyshack poster. However you say your name, how are you? <laughs> Knife Missionary, how are you? C-Rad, it's good to see everybody. God bless you guys. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, so Amir asks, how am I feeling? Guys, I don't mean to get grotesque on here. I don't mean to get kind of gross, but, you know, I'm in my 30s now. I'm not, I'm young, but I'm not a young, young buck. Uh, I got my very first hemorrhoid, and it's embarrassing, but it's also just a part of human biology. And long story short, I ruptured yesterday. I had to go to the doctor. Uh, it was not fun. I'm okay. I was a little tired today from the blood loss. Um, and it sucks. So I've, I've been trying to eat 
uh, kind of liquidish food to opt for obvious reasons. But because I had such a rough day, uh, I got myself an angry orchard because I think I deserve it. So I'm, I'm okay now, you know, but man, it sucks. It sucks. And I want to thank everybody that I was talking about on Instagram, like in my stories, thanks to everybody that was giving me tips that went through this before, but I'm, I got to change my diet a little bit. I mean, I, here's the thing. The reality is guys is, you know, I run five miles every day, uh, six days a week. I usually take off on Sundays. So I run five, what's five times six. That's how many miles I run a week, you know, but, uh, you know, as you age, not that I'm old, but you know, I'm in my thirties now, I'm not 21. I guess just as you get older, you, you got, you really have to work on the diet more. So that's my plan. And I don't really even eat that bad, but I'm a, I'm a M and M junkie to be honest with you. So I got to work on that. I have to work on that. Uh, and I got to get more fiber in my diet. That's just reality guys. So, you know, yeah, it's an apple cider, angry orchard. I've always been a big fan of these, but God bless you guys. Love you guys. So let's see, what are you guys asking? Um, let's see. The Brood is my favorite Cronenberg film. It's a masterpiece. Well, hey, buddy, uh, be, be, be ready to watch Planet CHH tomorrow because tomorrow we're going over the Criterion Hall. Uh, so that's cool. What are your thoughts on scanners? Good question, Jonathan. My, my thoughts on scanners are there are times where I think that's one of his best movies. I think there's a, I think with David, there was a there is a moon there was a moment right around the fly or right after the fly a couple movies after the fly where his movies stopped being linear and they started getting a little bit more weirder and weirder um and i prefer the older cronenberg stuff anything from like uh you know you get to like crash and beyond his movies start to get a little bit more i guess interpretational uh a little bit more metaphorical and just weird and just visually more a 24 ish, if you will. Uh, and I like the old school David a lot. Um, so I love scanners, big fan of scanners. Dave, how are you? Good to see you, Dave. You are so young. I, I, I am, I am, I, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not excusing my, my, uh, my bad habits. Which slip version are you getting of basket case? Can't make up my mind, but I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the one with, him holding the case johnny i don't know that i'm getting it i kind of talked about this that's not something i don't think i'm gonna upgrade i, I have the 2k net inner positive whatever blu-ray from arrow um i encourage everybody to get it the 4k that can get it because i love basket case but i don't know i don't know johnny at this point i think i may hold off and stick with the one i got because i actually have the blu-ray with the slip cover i love that release so i may i may hold off johnny and stick with the one i have That's what I may do. Thoughts on Dead Ringers. Um, need to watch it again, Jonathan. Uh, let me make sure. That's Cronenberg, right? Isn't that from like 90? I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Let me let me jog my memory. Unless I'm totally off. It's like late 80s, early 90s, right? Uh, yeah, okay, 88. I was close. Uh, I don't remember loving this one, to be honest with you. Uh, I really wasn't in love with the, uh, the cast of it. I'd have to watch it again. I have the DVD of it. I'd have to watch it again, but I don't remember. I really don't remember loving it, Jonathan. It wasn't, it wasn't a standout for me. Um, what is your favorite video game console? Mine is Sega Genesis. Same. Same. Unpopular opinion, but the original Xbox is my favorite console of all of all time. It, I mean, it was certainly it was certainly a game changing console. They had massive promotion. I think The Rock was on stage with um uh Gates when it was coming out. <laughs> we are <laughs> we already did, Bosco. <laughs> we covered it. <laughs> oh man yeah you, you know you're not you're not wrong nuclear like i said the 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 irony is like i run and i i exercise a lot i just got to get my diet straightened out 
you know. Davey says, psyllium husks and a little juice cocktail every morning should keep you good. I just had my first colonoscopy la last month because it uh, I had a little bit of a scare, but everything is all good. Well, I'm so glad everything's good, Davey. I'm sure I'm going to be up for mine in a few years. L.A. Jewel, how are you? Thoughts on Lake Placid, asked Jonathan. Huge fan of Lake Placid. O always loved Lake Placid. Um, That's Steve, Steve Miner, right? Um, Wasn't uh the golden girl in that at the very end feeding the gator? She was, right? Christian, what are some of your favorite prison movies? Asked Jesse. Great question. So there's a movie called Death Warrant with Jean-Claude Van Damme I love. Uh, I love Lock Up with Stallone. There's a movie from 89 with Tom Selleck. I can't remember the name of it, but somebody in here has seen it. Somebody here knows exactly the movie I'm talking about. That's really good. In terms of horror, though, as well, you know, Prison from 88, which was a Charlie Van Empire movie, is great. Uh, Brawl in Cell Block 99, which is not horror, but it's a Vince Vaughn movie, was probably one of the best prison movies I've ever seen. One of the best. Speaking of Cronenberg, my second sight possessor arrived yesterday. Such a great film. Awesome. Amir. Mine shows up tomorrow, hopefully. Knife Missionary says, have you seen Imaginary? I'm planning on waiting till streaming. I haven't seen it. I, I didn't hear a whole lot of good from it. And um, the premise, I did, it didn't really interest me that much. But I hope it's successful because uh, even though I'm not the biggest Jason Blum fanatic, I always want to see the movie succeed. So I, I do hope it does. I do hope it does well. Uh, imaginary. Uh, Videodrome is my favorite summertime. That's probably Videodrome or The Fly is my favorite. Videodrome. I'm a gigantic James Woods fan. He's one of my favorite actors. He's just got that X factor. Um. But yeah, huge, huge fan of uh, Videodrome. Uh, Jigsaw Rule said, I posted this in your community post a few weeks back. Remind me what you're refer referring to, Jigsaw. I'm sorry. What's your favorite Eli Roth movie? My favorite is Cabin Fever. Um, that's a good question. Uh, it's tough. You know, I liked I like Thanksgiving a lot. I, I like that even more than, on a rewatch. I also really like... Um, I like Green Inferno, man. Uh, what, what can I say? I, I, it's a tribute, obviously, to Cannibal Holocaust, and I think it's a good movie. So I'd have to go Green Inferno. It's my favorite. But I, I like I like Knock Knock as well, and um, A Hostel's great. What's the best A24 movie? That's a really difficult question. I, I, I think there's a couple of contenders there. Um, I love the Iron Claw, but I wouldn't say it's the best. Hereditary is up there for sure. Uh, I also really love this movie called Swiss Swiss Army Man. Uh, it was a Daniel Radcliffe movie that was really interesting. Swiss Army Man, I think is the name of it. Yeah. So that, um, I loved men. There goes the meme, my, the, the CHH meme. I love men. Um, there's more, uh, I'd have to think about it. Gut answer. Kevin would be hereditary for me. I, I loved it. Oh God, here's a difficult question, guys. Y'all ready? What are you seeking out of life? What do you think the world will look like in the next five to 10 years? And what are your goals for not only this channel, but in life in general? Jesus, what a question. Good God. What are you seeking out of life? Honestly, I don't know. I I I know this is what I can say, Jigsaw. I know I feel like building my YouTube channel and building um and working towards it and creating something with it feels right. Uh I'm sure I'm going to be a father one day. Um I still have goals. I didn't expect to get this personal in here tonight, but you asked. So I did say you guys can ask, you guys can ask anything. I still have goals and dreams, and I'm very, 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 very selfish with my time. Um, so, you know, there are some stuff I can't talk about, private stuff, you know, that involves my family that I can't get into. But I'm very, very selfish with my time, and I, I dedicate a lot of my time to creating and working towards things. I'm a musician. I still have dreams of just having a song. I don't need to be, I'd love to have a song that goes somewhere for all you guys. to know I put out music 
look up artist CHH on Spotify, Instagram. I want, I want to create things that will outlast me in the physical form. Right. And, um, what do you think the world will look like in the next five to 10 years? I couldn't begin to guess jigsaw. I really don't know. The more, you know, that Cinderella song, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Right. So it's hard to say, you know, I, when we, we when we went through COVID, I remember telling my wife, I looked at my wife, I said, I don't think we're ever going to be able to live the way we did pre this ever again. I think things are going to be very different. And she agreed with me at the time, but it seems like things actually have gone back to that, you know, um, in, in, in honesty, 2020 seems, it feels like a fever dream, right? It almost feels like it didn't happen. Uh, and what are my goals in life in general? Kind of like what I said before, I, I want to create things and, and work on things that will outlast me in the, in my physical body. Uh, I want to make a difference in what I do. Right. And, um, like I said, more than likely I'm going to have children one day, um, and that would be my biggest uh, children, whatever. If I have kids, they'd be my legacy. They would continue. They would continue me and keep that sort of thing going. Um, so what do I want out of life is to continue whatever positive out output I can I can bring into the world. You know, that that's the older I get, the more I realize that I had I had a real issue when I turned 30. Um, my wife didn't have this. I did. I, I didn't sleep all night. I, I said to my, I sat up in bed. I, it was my 30th birthday. I sat in bed and I stared at the, we're going to move on after this. Cause I don't want to take too much longer. I stared at the roof of in my, when I was laying in my bed in my bedroom and I said, I'm 30 years old. I can't believe I've gotten this far, which the people older than me are rolling their eyes. I know, but just pretend you were my age at that point too. And if you might've went through this, I remember looking at the ceiling. I said, what have I done? Like what, what have I accomplished? What do I have to show? What do I have to show for being at, th at this point in my life? Like, what do I have to show? And uh, I really had to come to grips with like Christian, get it into gear. And I don't know if anybody's noticed, but ever since that point, I have really dug my heels in to building my channel as much as I can. And, and, uh, trying to get my voice heard out there and, and do stuff like that. And like I said, that's not the only goal I have is YouTube. Of course not. I love doing this. This is passion, a passion project for me, but, um, I, I really got motivated when I turned 30 and I, I, I feel like I'm working my hardest now than I ever have. So I, I'm trying to keep that momentum up. So I'm sorry for the long winded answer. Baldy, how are you? I really enjoyed your video when you talked about the Friday the 13th box set. That did bring back memories when I first purchased. I, I thought it was a fun idea. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I love Rat Race. Uh, I feel Whoop Whoopi Goldberg was in that, right? Yes, I love Rat Race. Hysterical movie. Will you be picking up The Crow Salvation from Scream Factory? 16, 20 copies. I don't know, Corey. I thought about it, and I, 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 right now I'm not that interested, to be honest with you. Thoughts on a Serbian film? I find the movie hysterical. I think it's so over the top. I just laugh at it. I don't really want to describe the movie, Kevin, but I, it's so, you, you know what I'm saying? It's so over the top. It's just, it's just funny to me. Absolutely. Charles, I would get, I would get in while the getting's good. As a matter of fact, I think it's going out of print. Basket case can't really benefit from 4k. It's such a grimy grind, grainy film. If you don't have the Blu-ray, get it. Well, there you go. Dylan, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that RoboCop 2 happens sooner rather than later. I know that. I'm very excited for that. I think we got a super chat. Uh, PP Dangler. Member for five months. Thank you, PP Dangler. Crossroads 1986 Ralph Macchio voodoo guitar movie. Oh, yeah. I love Crossroads. Are you kidding me? Love that movie. Steve Vai, man. Yes, I've seen Meatballs. As a matter of fact, I've seen Meatballs 2 as well. Tim Capello, you remember he's on seeing him play live, and do you still believe? I'm pissed off I left the shirt on top of the car, Kalen. Kalen was at the show with me, guys. God bless you, buddy. I need to come over. Get you over here soon. Got into the best shape of my life in 30s by just eating meat, and we're popping an endless energy. Abs were popping an endless energy. Dude. WWF, no mercy, or here comes the pain. Ryan, it depends on the day. 
because here comes the pain was kind of the perfect wrestling game, but no mercy was the perfect wrestling game at the perfect time. That's the difference, right? No more 2000 late 2000 was probably the peak of wrestling. So an innocent man. Thank you. Yeah. The Tom Selleck movie. Uh, how's it going? Good old, old CHH. I'm driving, but I'm tuned in. Thank you, Jacob. Good to see you. No, I'm going to see Dune 2, hopefully Friday, Kevin. Friday. I'm getting the 4Ks, Austin, frankly, because I literally don't own two of the three at all besides Laserdiscs. Uh, True Lies I have on Laserdisc and The Abyss I have on Laserdisc. So those two I'm getting, whether they're shitty or not, they're upgrades for me, right? Uh, aliens, I'm just going to go for it. I'm praying for the best and expecting the worst. What's your thought on Dawson's Creek? Kevin Williamson directing Scream 7 asked Dylan. Dylan, that's a great question. I mean, I'm happy for the fans. I'm not upset about it. I, I like Kevin a lot. So we'll see what happens. I'm not, I'm not going to get into the... not. Politics is the wrong word about it, but I'm not going to get into the tug of war that the Scream fans may have with that sort of thing, quite frankly, because I, I think it's silly. Um, but I think this is best case scenario. Put it to you like that. I, I, I have very high expectations for Dune 2, L.A. Jewel. I really do. I'm expecting it to be one of the best movies I've ever seen, quite frankly, because I mean, it was bold to do an introduction movie like they did for Dune 1, where not a whole lot happens, but it was all atmosphere and, and set up, right? So I'm expecting Dune 2 to be fantastic. Christian, do a video on your favorite bands, or have you thought about making have you thought about making videos about music or gear? Not on this channel, Cloud, but in lives, I don't mind talking about it. Like Alice Cooper's my all-time hero. He's my hero. Alice Cooper is my absolute hero. I love Alice. Uh, I also love Blue Oyster Cult. I love Huey Lewis in the news. I love Billy Idol. Um, I love uh Tears for Fears and one of my favorite groups. I love the cars. Um I love Kiss, a lot of non-makeup Kiss. Um, and, and in terms of '90s, I love bands like Live. Um, I listen to a lot of stuff rock-wise. I don't really listen to a whole lot of like uh, heavy, heavy stuff. It's weird. The older I got, the less I liked screaming music. Uh, I just found I, I find it irritating to listen to. Um, I don't know why. I, I, I'm not saying I'm happy about that, but I, I really can't bear to listen to screaming music anymore. The older I get, the older the music is I listen to, interestingly enough. Thoughts on the quality content? Qu thoughts on the qua continue? Sorry, I got new glasses on. I still can't read. Thoughts on the continual quality content Nick has been putting out on his channel lately? I'm very proud of him. He's doing a great job. Uh, we had a lot of conversations about uh, his channel and his videos, and I know he's motivated and he's working hard and, and he's seeing the fruits of his labor. So God bless him. I'm, I'm, I'm couldn't be happier for him. Could not be happier for him. I have been intermittent fasting since the beginning of the year. So far, it's going well. I'm in my 40s. Enough of the diet talk. What are your thoughts on the recent Scream 7 news? As, as I first, very cool, C Red. But yeah, I just answered that just a second ago. Uh, CHH, have you seen the trailer to Late Night with Devil from Shudder? Dude, I am excited about that. I, I read about that in the latest Horror Hound and uh, Scream magazines, Vincent, Vicente, and I, I literally can't wait to uh, see that movie. Literally can't wait. It's one of the most anticipated movies I have right now. It seems the James Cameron's True Lies 4Ks are delayed, at least here in Canada. Any ideas why? Everybody has the same answer for that, Eric. Everybody's just like, LOL, Disney. So that's that's basically what I'm hearing. It's just they weren't prepared. And, the, the the you know, they're getting out of the movie club and all that sort of thing. Meanwhile, there are Fox titles that they have to put out. They can't even keep up with the demand. So go figure. Um, I am looking forward to Ari Oster's new movie. I finally watched Bo is Afraid like maybe four months ago, and I don't really know what to think about it. But he's got this quality about his films that you kind of can't take your eyes off of his stuff. So I'm 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 pretty excited to uh, see it. With Sony teaming up with Disney for physical media, what are some catalog titles you're hoping they finally release on Blu-ray? I hope a lot of the Touchstone and Hollywood picture movies get released. I, I totally agree, Jesse. A lot of that stuff. Um, there is a plethora of great 90s titles that are just begging 
to come out. Uh, I can't think of a ton off the top of my head. I had a conversation with somebody about this a week or so ago when we got the announcement for this. So I, I'm very excited about that, but I, 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 I'm not getting my hopes up, to be honest with you. We'll just take it day by day. I have not seen Elephant 2003. Have not seen that. Are you excited more for Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, or Godzilla, X-Kong, New Empire, Battle of the Empires? Bro, Um, I I'm more excited for Ghostbusters. Uh, I'm not really that excited about Godzilla versus Kong, mostly because the, the premise is... I'm not into that premise. I'm... I, I don't want it to come across like I'm trying to be like the, oh, it's Toho or nothing kind of guy. I just I have a feeling that the 2014 Godzilla movie is going to be aging like a fine wine compared to the rest of these movies, in my opinion. And that's just a stylistic choice. I like my monster movies, you know, a little bit more simple than doing this buddy cop kind of battling ancient evil thing. It's it's a little too video gamey for me, uh, the premise of this movie. So I'm not really I'm not really that into the idea, quite frankly. Um so the answer is got Ghostbusters, but I'll prob I'll probably see them both. I, I know I'll watch them in the theaters. We'll see, but um, you know we'll take it take it day by day. Dylan, uh, hold on, I messed up my page. How do we achieve peace in the Middle East? <laughs> I'm not running for president. Slaughter Count says hi. I want to come here to say hi, and what you do is great. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Slaughter Count. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Well, uh, Walmart has the Cameron 4 case in Canada. Nice. Uh, do you think physical media will still exist in 20 years? Uh, if if you, if somebody would ask you if vinyl would have existed in 20 years, uh, 20 years ago, what would your answer have been? That that's my answer. So that's my answer. 4K Allah, how are you, brother? Good to see you. Appreciate your viz, man. Happy you're a part of this community. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that so much. Wait till you're 55, my friend. Well, I will wait. Oh, yeah. I know it. <clears throat> Morrison said it best, I think, in art, but especially in films, people are trying to, to confirm their own existences. That's that's probably true, right? And, um, you know, all of us that make content and make videos on the Internet, too, I mean, there's always going to be a part of us that does it because we want the attention. Otherwise, why why put stuff out in a, in the, in a public forum like this anyway? So there's definitely some truth to that, I think. If you could go back in time and alter one historical event, what would you choose? 9-11, without a shadow of a doubt. I, I I tear up sometimes watching movies. What did I watch the other day? Oh, Daylight. I watched Daylight. And at the very end of Daylight, Stallone comes out of the water after he comes out the tunnel. And there's this gorgeous shot of New York, and you, you see the Twin Towers. And you know, I just get pissed off every time I think about that. <coughs> that would be what I would change. <clears throat> thoughts on copycat and uh, it's not ringing a bell. I I've, I've probably, I don't know if I've seen that or not. I, it's not ringing a bell, my man. Jacob, we're the same age, man. I turned 32 in April. So I don't know if I'm a little bit older than you or not. Katrina, how are you? Good to see you. Quentin. Yeah, I've seen hard bodies. Classic. What were some movies in your life that you went like, whoa, that really hit heavy for me? Oh, man. Uh, there was a movie Will Smith did called Seven Pounds. Um, there, 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 there's a number of movies. Uh, Rocky. I think Rocky Rocky's one of the most in, in uh, Rocky's one of the most influential movies of all time. I mean, I, I my 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 life was shaped from watching Rocky. And the messages I got from Rocky and, and just becoming a fan of Stallone in general. Believe it or not, Bloodsport was very influential in my life. Um, what I got from Bloodsport, as silly as it sounds, is not being afraid to go to new places and and uh, and just going for it. That sort of thing. So whenever like I go to a new job or something, I just think, you know, Frank Dukes can go to, you know, Hong Kong and battle strangers in a different country. I can go to this new place and, and do my best. Um, 
another one, Terminator 2, man. There's so much heart and soul to the story of Terminator 2. Um, there, there, there's, there's, a, there's other films. Rocky, for sure. And First Blood. I can't say enough good things about First Blood. Uh, all right, I, I am way behind on the comments. I, I like REO. Scream fans are proving they are mentally unstable with some of the comments I've seen towards Nave. What, what are you going to do about it? I saw that Baldy Jack. Uh, it's cool that they're putting out old material uh, re remastered and, and finished. <laughs> That's a lot of episodes, Deadhead. That's seven or eight seasons to rank. My favorite, I've, I've always said this, my favorite episode is um, the Morton Downey Jr. episode. By the way, guys, we got 150 people in here. If you, if you could drop a like, I'd so appreciate that. Do I smoke or vape? The answer is no. Uh, every now and again, I have a black and mild, uh, but I haven't done it in, in, in probably six or seven months. Like every like once a month, I'll get one at the end of a month, but I haven't, I haven't done that in probably six or seven months. So the answer at this point is no. Are you a fan of the Smashing Pumpkins, 1979 Tonight? Tonight are some of my favorite songs. I am a fan. Uh, I became a Billy Corgan fan first because he's into wrestling. And then I started listening to them, like really listening to them. And yes, I'm a big fan of the Pumpkins now. 79 is my favorite, one of my favorite songs ever. I've seen the trailer and I'm very excited. Super excited for WrestleMania. I, I literally, literally can't wait. Journey and REO Speedwagon are great bands. Amen. Are you kidding me? I can't wait to see Late Night with the Devil. Me too. I'm sorry, Suede. I'm very, very far behind. Drop your comment again. I'm, I'm not doing it on purpose, I assure you. It's just I'm very far behind. I'm kind of scrolling and and just trying to do what I can, man. Uh, Dynamite Tiger says, late to the party. Sorry, the new Fallout trailer for the new series in April on Amazon Prime looks fun, right? I have not seen the uh, trailer for Fallout. I'm not, I'm not very... Uh, I'm not very wise to fall out the games or anything. I'm assuming it has to do with those games. So I don't know. I think, I think Toho is working with a company to get that situated. My hope is that they put out the version of uh, the black and white version as well it, it, with the release. Uh, I think they talked about, they were going to do that. I don't know if they, uh, if they are going to do that though. So that's my big, that's my big hope is that they put out the uh, both versions of the movie. Thank you, Gar. Excited for the new studio tour. Me too. Me too. Marco, how are you? Good to see you. Some screaming Halloween fans can be crazy. It's just the internet people, man. Most people are normal. It's it's the Twitter. What is, what's it called? X? It's the X or Twitter. What are you going to do? You know, just don't pay it. No, but don't give it no attention. Don't allow it to affect your life. It, there, it's just, it's words on the internet. It's, it's nothing. I learned that a long time ago. Sometimes they can consume you. Mr. Happy, how are you? Will you ever review... Uh, will you ever do reviews for the Godzilla Toho franchise? I, I might do videos about it. Uh, that's a big undertaking, especially going over you know both the Showa and Heisei era. Uh, one of my favorites is Godzilla Final Wars, believe it or not. Uh, it's just a great... I love, I love the dig at the American Godzilla. Um, I love Godzilla vs. Biollante. Uh, it's probably my favorite Toho Godzilla film of all time. Um, I really enjoy your videos, your content, your overall style. You have a chill vibe, man. I dig it. Watching videos puts me in a good mood. I really like You Need a Candles as well. Thank you so much. By the way, we have You Need a Candles coming out uh, this weekend. Uh, we have um, Irish Irish type stuff, leprechaun stuff, and we also are going to have mega size melts that are going to be really cool. And we're bringing back the Planet CHH Mega Grape, which I'm very excited about. Uh, Don Smith, I agree. I agree. 8K says Dylan. You know, you never know, dude. Two part question: Has there been any movement that you're aware of with the possibility of a Nightmare on Elm Street 4K? What are your thoughts on the Max Rob Zombie Freddy series? Uh, has there ever been any movement that you're aware of on the possibility? The last thing I heard was that video I did about it, where there was a uh, you know uh, Warner Brothers was asking their top contributors, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, through emails about what movies they would like to see and and Elm Street 
came in at the top of the list. Um, and apparently they asked about the Elm street films, plural. Um, my hope is still that we're going to get some sort of announcement this year. Um, with Elm street. And one of my thoughts on the max Rob zombie, Freddy series, it was clearly, I mean, I was so you're the, actually the very first person to ask me about that because to me it was so clear. And I'm not saying you don't realize this. I'm just speaking from my own thoughts about this. It was so clearly ridiculously made up and, and BS and the, and the site that posted it was a, uh, uh what do you call it? It was a, uh, satire website where they make, they, they openly say everything on here is a joke or made up, but because fans are so excited to at the idea of anything Freddie related, coming back they didn't bother to read or see the source so it hit air all these websites and stuff so uh i think it would be hysterical if rob zombie did a freddy series though if that's what you're asking that would be beyond hysterical what the hell that would look like i don't know <clears throat> the leprechaun episode was dope and missing planet dirty I, I'm, I'm a busy guy you know like i try to do what i can you know i do i try to do I do the, you need it with Nick once a month. I do plant dirty once a month and I got stuff. I got like, I just got this from uh, MVD. I got to review the uh, newest blue underground 4k, uh, night of the blood monster. Uh, I also got this today, the shining, uh, TV series, blu-ray. So like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so busy. I, it's hard for me to do the shows, but I love doing the show. So I do it, you know? So just, you got to bear with me. I, I do what I can, but I'm glad you missed, missed the shows. Cause that means you like the shows. So I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin, you're going to hate my answer. Neither. Uh, Led Zeppelin just sounds like Papa Rock to me, which I know is sacrilege to say. Uh, and Pink Floyd puts me to sleep. So I'm very sorry. I know that answer is going to really piss you off, but please don't be mad at me. Movies you hated but like now? Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that for a second. Movies you hated but like now. I know I've got an answer for you, but not right now. I have to think about that. That's a video. That's a video idea. The changeling, the changeling. There you go. That's your answer. Doodle List Movies, what's up, everyone? Don't forget to roundhouse kick the like button. Yeah, we got 167 people in here, guys. If you guys could drop a like, I'd really appreciate that. I was a kid when I saw the Twin Towers fall down right in front of me. Being a resident of New Jersey, the New York border was in my close proximity crazy time. I can't imagine what you saw. Videos, I'm sure, don't do it justice. Oh, you're right behind me then, Jacob. Right behind me. Retro Ryan, how are you? Good to see you. <clears throat> I'm glad they're going back to basics with Screen 7. I don't know about that. Don't get your hopes up on going back to basics. You don't know what the hell they're going to do. I'm inclined to think that, but you never... You never know. Kevin may want to reinvent the wheel, man. What are some must-see Italian horror films? Basically, there's like a Fulci five I could give you. Fulci's my guy. House by the Cemetery, Zombie, The Beyond, which needs to come to 4K yesterday, quite frankly. Um, Believe it or not, The Black Cat from Fulci. The Black Cat from Fulci is really good. Uh, so house, uh, I said house with summary, uh, city of the living dead, AKA gates of hell. Although I prefer the city of the living dead title. Um, yeah, I'd even throw murder rock in there. I'd even throw murder rock in there. I have not Mr. Dig. I have not. Cody, I'm still uh, recovering from your Irish accent on Planet 3. <laughs> nice, dude. I'm going to do it. I've actually got a video coming out uh, showing all my TV shows I have on DVD. TV show box sets, Nick B. It's going to be a fun video. I am looking forward to Ghostbusters. Swade says, no love, all, no worries, all love. Well, drop that comment again, Swade. If I see it, I'll, I'll go for it. Favorite Jason Statham movie? Well, this one was crank movies. Those were good, right? Those were good, huh? 
What's your favorite full moon movie other than Puppet Master? Great question. Um, Subspecies is up there. You could also say, uh, uh, you could also say Castle Freak. Maybe Subspecies, though. Not a really big fan of the Mimic trilogy. Not really a big fan. Uh, I was just asking. I had bought the exclusive Halloween steelbook from Walmart, but I wanted to know what box set has the Michael Lives doc. Which box set has the Michael Lives documentary, please? And thank you. The exclusive Halloween steelbook. What exclusive Halloween steelbook? Which what what which steelbook was exclude? H Halloween steelbook from Walmart. What am I missing? There was a Halloween steelbook in Walmart. The only thing that I can tell you that, um, the only thing I can tell you that uh, has Mike that would have that on there for sure would be the Scream Factory releases. How come you stopped doing the horror podcast with Nick? I didn't. I didn't. I, I've I've talked about it pretty much any time on a live when people get asked about that, and I've I, I've I've said it a thousand times. I'm not a, I'm not upset, Sammy, but it's on his channel. We moved it to his channel. So what I did was. When I started getting opportunities to do kind of like review stuff and uh, when I started getting some other opportunities, it, it became very time consuming. And so we were doing a, an episode a week, which is just nuts. It was a blast and I had a great time, but it became it became a little uh, overwhelming for the both of us, really. And uh, so I told him we got to take a step back a little bit. And I, I felt bad about that. So I was like, dude, let's do it on your show as a way for you to get the content on your channel as well since we're kind of dialing it back. So we haven't stopped. It's just on his channel. Uh, would you like to see an origin story of Freddy Krueger? If it's done in the right light, I'm sure. Uh, I wouldn't be against that. <clears throat> I'm loving the new look of the game room. Good poster selection. How many posters do you think you own? I have about 50. Probably close to the same thing. My horror room closet, if you open it up, posters will just fall out on the ground. It's just disgusting how much I have. Picked up Conan on 4K, uh, and damn, it's nice. It is. Did you get the Did you get the Conan Did you get the Conan Chronicles? Or did you just get Barbarian or Destroyer? Let me know. Uh, no, I'm just I'm I'm sipping on this one. I'm almost I'm, I got like three sips left. I'm not gonna go overboard tonight. Got 170 people in here. Jesus Christ! Thank you guys for being here. Just please drop a like if you don't mind. Your videos are incredibly calming, create such a peaceful atmosphere. I thoroughly enjoy the... Uh, thank you. I've gotten a lot chiller as I got older. Ten years ago, I was like a goddamn cocker spaniel. You know, I was just bouncing off the walls, but I've gotten a lot chiller as I got older. I run at a low... What, what is it? I, I run at a low frequency, as they say. Jamie, how are you? How's your, uh, your, aren't you taking a trip right now? I don't want to... If you don't want me to say where you're at, I won't, but I, aren't you on vacation? Hope you're having a good time wherever you're, if you are, unless I'm wrong, but I think you are. What is the most overrated horror franchise in your opinion? I don't know, man. My, my, I, I, I'm either wrong or I feel that those terms, well, overrated is not really a term that I think is, it, it just depends how you look at it, Sammy. Like, if 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 ten if ten million people love the Halloween franchise, but they don't say, I'm not saying every movie's good. I just like it. Does that mean it's overrated? I don't think so. Not that I want to say Halloween anyway, because clearly I wouldn't say that. I don't know what I would say. Um, I don't. I I don't know. I really don't know. Overrated horror franchise. See, like, I, I'm not the person to ask that because. If you say, oh, well, it's Saw because a lot of those movies are bad, I could say, well, I can see how you can see that they're bad, but I just enjoy them. So I wouldn't say it's overrated. I, I don't, I really, I'm not trying to dodge the question. I'm just not good at answering those kinds of questions. If you ask me, like, Christian, what's a horror franchise where you really don't like a lot of the movies? Um, 
then my answer would be like uh the collector which i only think is three of them i don't like those movies much at all i to me they're very forgettable um the collector would be my answer although it's not overrated i don't think it is because it's kind of like a cultish kind of thing anyway but i didn't like any of those i really didn't wasn't it just two movies it was the collector and collect i've seen them i know i've seen them yeah faculty's coming to 4k rob zombie's lassie film <laughs> What do I think about the new Beetlejuice movie? Uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. I'm glad Tim Burton's back. Imagine if Rob Zombie took on the task of creating a nightmare. Oh, I'd love to see Sherry Moon as Nancy. Um... They're on. I have a few songs saved on Spotify, but um, they're new to me. Are you kidding me? Ten Nicolaus? Oh, now I got to check them out deep dive just because of that. I am very far behind. I'm still not an Offspring fan. Killer Pizza, respect. Um, never really cared for them. I'm very, I'm very, 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 very picky with singers that I like. <laughs> Uh, to answer your question, though, a band that I hated, but now I like a lot of the, basically everything I listen to now. I used to make fun of my dad when uh, I was little. JG, how are you? Good to see you, brother. This is a good question. If you could sit down, and have lunch with any guitar player in the world and just shoot the breeze for a couple of hours, who would that be? Richie Blackmore. Richie Blackmore, because he's a guy that just. He's he'll be in the biggest band in the world that have the biggest record of all time with Deep Purple, then leave and go do Rainbow, then go back to Deep Purple and then leave again and then go back and do Rainbow. And I, I want to know his thought process and how he can easily just like leave the bands he's in when he's at the most successful point and continue. He's also one of my favorite guitar players of all time. So Richie, definitely Richie Blackmore. And I love his British sense. British humor is my some of my favorite. The dry panness of British humor is Richie is hysterical, and he'll do interviews where people think he's being a dick, and they don't realize he's literally just being a comedian. I love British humor. Just gave CHH a like, and I just got in the chat. Thank you, Sean. Damn, Charlie, you're killing it. Forty three days. For pizza. I can't do 43 days without pizza, dude. God bless you, though. Argento over Fulci uh, all day long. I can't argue that. I'm a Fulci guy. I feel like, I feel like Fulci is a little bit more blue collar uh, in a way, but I may just be attributing his visual look of himself to the, to the movies, which probably isn't fair. I just feel when you look at Fulci, he looks like he you'd see him more at a fast food restaurant before Dario. And for some reason, I, when I look at Fulci, I relate to Fulci more than I would Dario. I'm weird. I love Fulci. Fulci's my boy. He's got my favorite. So New York Ripper's great. I love New York Ripper. Don't Torture a Duckling. Great religious movie, too. Great stuff. Uh, whatever you want, Sean, whatever you want, just ask away. A gamer squad. How are you? Good to see you. Have you checked out the new Judas priest album yet? Uh, no, I have it saved. I have not checked it out yet. I got to go to, I got to go shopping tomorrow. I'm trying to get a little CRT. Actually, I'm trying to get one of those old TVs in here. So I have a, like I said, I'm gonna do a tour in here soon. What you see looks nice and organized. Okay. What you see looks nice and organized, but over here, you can't see it, but I want to get a little, um, I want to get a little TV with the tune dial, like a little old Zenith, and I want to set that on my mini fridge, so if I want to play Sega or Nintendo, and I want to play Duck Hunt, I need that for the gun. I have a CRT in my shed, but it's like a 55-inch. It, it weighs like 300 pounds. I, I have no use for that in here. Then we got a super chat. Chris Snyder with a $5. Thank you so much. Let me give you a little something something. Listen to me. 
the next time you have to think of it, buy a box of milk that or sneak them in and go to the hot butter and drizzle it all into all into the box of milk that it is the best thing you'll ever have in your life. Uh, Chris Snyder, thank you so much for the photo. Super Jet. If you're not really interested much in foreign films, which ones do you recommend? I dip my toes into to get started into those. I definitely would recommend Parasite. Uh, that was an incredible movie. Nail biting thriller. Parasite was great. That came out four years ago. Uh, it was a phenomenon. Um, I would recommend horror wise. I'd recommend, uh, audition. Um, Ring you. I would recommend Dark Water. Dark Water is really good. Um, I would also recommend uh, Godzilla Minus One, if I didn't say that. I, I, I know it's fresh a movie, so it's kind of like a cop-out answer. But the reality is I think Godzilla Minus One is possibly the second or third greatest Godzilla film of all time. And the, it'll it'll kind of bring a tear to your eye. The story's so good. So incredibly good. I mean, it just made it, 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 everything raise the stakes for the next... Uh, part of the film just so good um there was a movie called uh i'm trying to i want to give you some home runs Mm. go with those for now i really recommend parasite i really recommend parasite i also recommend skip squid game on netflix that was a great show that was also a phenomenon at the time uh, Squid Game was a really good show. That was, uh, was that Korean? I can't remember if it was Japanese or Korean. I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Not that I'm saying that they're not different, but my, my point is you ask foreign, not specific to a certain, uh, nationality. So those are some great tipping off points for you. Favorite non Back to the Future Michael J. Fox movie. Mine is a tie between the the Secret of My Success and the Hard Way. Hard Way is great, obviously, because of James Woods. I also would recommend, uh, or I also love. Excuse me, Light of Day needs to get a physical media release, but because of the great soundtrack that it has, it's insanely, insanely uh, hard to find. You have to have a VHS of it, basically. Um, I would also recommend Greedy, which is a really good movie. It's kind of an ensemble cast, but Michael's great in that. Um, I really love Doc Hollywood, really love Doc Hollywood. Great, charming movie with Michael Fox. Um, and of course I love family ties, but that's a television show. Uh, but I also love secret. My success is secret. My success is the most eighties movie ever. And, and also, you know, I got the MVD release for, um, uh, what's the movie where he has the girlfriend that leaves him and he's working in the city and he starts doing drugs and the Kiefer Sutherland's in it. Uh, bright, bright lights, big city. That's an A24 film in the eighties, you know, just really good. You know, maybe he means the Rob zombie Halloween still book. Um, Oh, the Walmart. Oh, you have to get, you have to get the, uh, Go to go on Amazon or whatever. You may have to get the DVD version of it. You have to get the three disc DVD or the two disc Blu-ray version to get that Michael Lives documentary. Now I'm sorry, guys. I, thank you for the chat for stepping up on that. It is and it isn't. I think it's a Charlie Band film, but it wasn't a Full Moon movie. Sam Thomason, Train to Busan. That's a great one for uh, Chris. Yes, I love Train to Busan. That's a great zombie film. Uh, are you a fan of Office Space? I haven't watched much of it. I haven't seen the movie. I haven't watched the show. You know, I haven't seen that. Uh, you and Nick work so well together. We'll work so well together. I love the podcast. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yes, the triple feature still book is great. I just showed that off the other day. It's gorgeous. Who else? I'm, I can't believe this is the first person to mention this. Who else fears? The, who else has fears of the new Halloween series? It is. We got Jason and Michael going to television. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. Letterbox asks people their four favorite films off the top of their head. What are yours? Oh God. Return of the Living Dead. First Blood. 
without a doubt. First Blood's probably one of the greatest, in my opinion, one of the most important films ever made because it 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 it's, it's talking about what the veterans went through during the Vietnam War. Um, and it's a great performance from Stallone. Um, wow, top four movies of all time. Uh, believe it or not, Major League. Major League is going to be up there. That's one of my favorite movies. For the horror fans, too, you might recognize uh, Charles Cyphers in Major League, right? He's uh, He works for the Indians in the movie. Charles Cyphers from Halloween is in Major League. And then I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Vacation with Chevy Chase, my all-time favorite comedian. Vacation to me is one of the. Vacation is literally laugh out loud funny every single time I watch Vacation. I will show you this. Uh, there's my Vacation poster right there. It's that is one of my favorite movies of all time. So yeah, I gotta have Vacation in the mix. Just a great movie. Great question, Ryan. Great question. We're going to go about five more minutes, guys. I'll get to all the questions I can. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Dread and Terror. Good to see you. It looks like a new name. First time stream. First time stream catch. Just started my Blu-ray and 4K collection to archive. Awesome special features. Oh, congratulations. Love your channel. Thank you. Guys, check out Dread and Terror. Just started my Blu-ray and 4K collection. Oh, you're not doing videos. You're just saying you started your collection. I was going to say, go check out the channel. Unless you did, and then I'm wrong. But awesome. Thank you for supporting physical media. To be fair, C-Red, Zombie's not doing that. <laughs> he wouldn't do that. Ian lives. What's the best superhero film in your opinion? My answer is Spider-Man 2002 without a doubt. Ugh, again, I'm not the greatest person to ask that. I can tell you what my favorite is. That's a good answer. Spider-Man 2002. Cause I, that's my childhood. It hits me in the feels when I watch it. Best superhero movie in your opinion. I'm going to give a really controversial answer and it's, it's really not a superhero movie, but it is. Dolph Lundgren's The Punisher from 1989. I thought he was a badass Punisher. I love that movie. That's a really good movie. I also love the Ninja Turtles 1990 film. As you can see right there. I love the Ninja Turtles 1990 movie, man. That's superheroes, right? I didn't get the ring box set. I couldn't justify it, Kevin. I, I just don't think I want it. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the of the comments so I can try to see who we have here. I'm going to scroll to the very bottom of the comments. Uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do six more questions cuz five's just not enough. Have I ever met Chevy Chase sometime? This is question 1. Have you ever met Chevy Chase? Sometimes you hear not great things. No, I've never met Chevy, but uh I don't need to meet him. I, I love him for his work. I don't I don't need to meet him. Question two. Here we go. Hey, CHH, what is another great found footage movie? I made my brother watch Hell House LLC franchise and the Poughkeepsie tapes, and he was blown away. Uh, great. I'm glad he loved them. Uh, I would recommend letting him see uh, a movie called uh, Willow Creek, which is about Bigfoot. I really enjoyed that. Go check that out. Go, go ahead and check that out. No, 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 no. The Sacrament. The Sacrament. My favorite Ty West film, The Sacrament. Have him check that out. Question three, we're going to go right here. What do you like better, Rambo or Last Blood? Uh, Rambo, 2008 was great. All right, we got three more. Let's see. Let me scroll down. What is your horror... Uh, Hold on, this doesn't count as a question. This is why Summertime Blues is wrong. Because in the UK, 
the word ninja could not be used in the title. So they were called the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. So uh I gotcha. What did what did what did what did Kanye West do? Gotcha. <laughs> I hear you though. I hear you, it's summertime blues, but I had to I had to get that in there. Um now the question I was going for was this what is your Mount Rushmore? My Mount Rushmore is um Dracula, and I would use the image of Christopher Lee on there, but Dracula as a whole, you know, I love Frank Langella's 79 Dracula, which you, you should check out in great movie. It's got Donald Pleasance in it, so you get a little Halloween fix in there. Um, 79, great movie. It's my favorite Dracula film. Uh, Dracula, uh, Prince of Darkness, great hammer title, but you also got Bella Lugosi. So Dracula would be up there. Uh, I definitely would put Freddie and Michael up there, Jason and uh, Leatherface, which is five. So I got to knock one off. Um, Because Mount Rushmore is four, right? I'll take Leatherface off as much as I hate to do that because I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre I think is I think is the best horror film ever, which is a yeah, you know, just my opinion. It's not I'm not saying it's a great opinion to have, but that's just how I feel in terms of what it's done to me, uh, effect wise. But I got to knock him off because Dracula's got to be up there. I think Dracula is probably one of the the greatest characters ever created, hands down. You know, like you know what I mean, like hands down, Dracula is Dracula is everlasting, right? And, and the beauty is that there's more than one iteration that is everlasting. The image of Christopher Lee, when he has his blood red eyes and his fangs, and he's got that, that face, it's, it's like, it's iconic. And, um, you know, of course, Bella is iconic as well, but then, you know, you've also got Gary Oldman with his and with their interpretation in the 92 film, which is kind of silly. But once he turns into that gargoyle bat thing, it's great. And like I said, Frank Langella's Dracula is, I think he was the perfect Frank Langella was the perfect blend of like suave, cool, but also menacing and sinister. It's a great movie. It's an absolutely great film. Um. And then it, the character carries on till this very day with the uh, last voyage of the Demeter. So Dracula is at the very top, the absolute very top of the Mount Rushmore. He's the front. He's the most front forward one. Two more questions we're going to do. Jigsaw rules. Of course, he's asking a saw question with the channel name like that. Are you excited about saw 11 coming this September? It's already coming this September. Wow. Uh, are you excited about Saw 11 coming this September with the writers from the original run? It's scary territory, but I'm excited. The answer is yes and no, right? Because I, I wasn't a big, big fan of Saw X. I'm so glad it was successful. Don't get me wrong, because I would rather be able to go see more movies of a franchise I've, I grew up with, whether I like them or not. I feel like there's a bigger picture here. Um, yes and no, I'm excited because uh, I love the journey when big movies from franchises that were very important to me continue on like that, it's just fun. And once you get to a certain point, like when you're making a part 11, I don't need them all to be masterpieces. I can have my opinion on them. Sure. But I don't need them to be masterpieces either. Uh, I just think it's fun when everybody gets excited and it becomes a part of the culture for a while again. Um, whether I like it or not is a different story, but I'm excited for that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to put too much weight into needing it to be a great, great film. Saw X, because I wasn't really huge on it. It just wasn't my flavor that I liked as much. So uh, I'm glad I'm glad it was really successful, though. That's fantastic. So I guess more, I'm more so excited for the journey than anything. I'm just glad it's kind of hanging around. So I will do two more. We'll do two more. What kind of horror movie would you make if you had the opportunity? Slasher, haunt, possession, etc. Found footage. I've got two found footage ideas. If I could ever get the people and the time to do it, time is the biggest thing. But I have a little bit of a premise for a found footage movie. One of them would be an on set kind of thing. The other one would be over Streamyard or Skype. I got two little ideas, so you never know. I may, I may, I may step up to the plate one day. If you go to my channel and look up old videos, type in Uncle Jerry, and you'll see my old home movies I did 
They're horrible, but they're hysterical when I was a kid. All right, let me find one more question. Let me get a good one. Let me get a good one. This doesn't count. I'm just responding to this because it's a nice comment. I recently discovered your channel. Really enjoying yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. One more question. I'm trying to look at some of these questions that we already got asked before. Okay, so Suede, we answered your comment on that about the Halloween documentary. Go to bed, Wayne. It's 2.14 in Australia. Go to bed. Nah, thank you for being here. There was a fire in your house. You can only save one thing from your movie room. From the movie room. Okay, this is a good question. So I'll answer the question for this room, and I'll answer the question for the horror room. The horror room would be uh, Baby Fred. And in here... You know what? It would probably, it would probably be my childhood uh, Nintendo sixty four. It would probably be my uh, Nintendo sixty four from childhood, uh, or maybe like my Ninja Turtle Hyperstone Heist game. Something that I, something that I had from childhood. Um, I see Sammy messaging me of something about some question he had on Instagram, brother. I didn't see it. Text me the question. I'll answer it right now since you want to uh, make a spectacle of yourself. Uh, go ahead and ask it. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not being serious. I'm just messing with him. Uh, I'll, I'll hang around for a second. I'll do, I'll do a couple more questions. Um, how do I feel about the HBO series Salem's Lot? Uh, you know what? Well, not series. How do I feel about the HBO Max Salem's Lot? I, I'm okay with it going straight to streaming. Sometimes I'm pretty lazy and I just want to watch a movie at the house anyway. You know what I mean? What's up, CHH? I immediately saw... I really got to get going, so I'm going to make two more questions. I'm going to get out of here. What's up? C I, I really appreciate everybody hanging. If you haven't dropped a like on the stream, you guys were incredible tonight. Thank you for the turnout. Uh, you really make me feel like an all-star. Uh, and I'm, I hope you guys like the new room. You're going to get the tour and everything. Uh, you're going to get the tour and all this stuff. You're going to see this. If it's not a horror centric video, I'm going to film it in here and I'm going to make it look all cool and look the lights and everything. Does anybody know what that is? That's a virtual boy a, a Nintendo virtual boy in the box back there. It's on top of the box in the jewel case. So. Uh, saw Fright Night Part 2 on 35 millimeter and, and immediately ordered the Spanish. The Spanish Blu-ray is not bad, JC. It's really not bad. Uh, thank you, Gar. I appreciate that. Wayne says, Plant CHH, my favorite YouTube channel on horror physical media. Thank you so much, man. Um, let's see. Uh, Trapped on a Desert Island movie. Oof, I don't know. I couldn't say. Trapped on a Desert Island vacation or Return of the Living Dead, one of the two. All right, guys, listen. I really appreciate you uh, guys hanging out with me tonight. Uh, you guys were incredible. I'll try to come back soon and do another uh, singular live stream. That sort of thing. New room looks great. Change of setting is great. I, that's what I was hoping. So I was hoping you guys were going to enjoy that. Listen, you guys kicked ass tonight. Tomorrow night, uh, we've got the um, uh, Vinegar Syndrome uh, halfway to Black Friday sale. I'll be live on this channel. I think it's like a big channel streaming thing, but it will be live on my channel tomorrow night. If you want to stay up late, uh, 1030 Central Time, we're going to go live and get ready for the Black Friday, halfway to Black Friday sale with Vinegar Syndrome. So if you want to hang out and be prepared to be disappointed, turn the bell on for my channel and stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow uh, night live uh, and we'll look, we'll see what they have going on with uh, Vinegar Syndrome. Maybe we'll be surprised and I'll have something big this time. Until next time, God bless you guys. Thank you for hanging out. And uh, you guys have an absolutely... Absolutely great night. God bless you. Thank you. Love you guys. Take care.